Okay, guys, today we'll be talking about the shortcut method for multiplication. So if we look at a problem like 26 times 7, what we have been doing is splitting it up and multiplying uh, 7 times 20 and 7 times 6, figuring out the answers to those two problems and then adding them up down here, being careful to line them up. But that's the way we have been doing it, which is fine. Uh, these things, by the way, here in the middle, are called the partial products. They're not the real answer. That's down here. That's the product. So it's a multiplication uh, problem. That's the answer. But these things are the partial products. They get us where we need to go, but we have to put them together first. And that's what we have been doing. I mean, that works okay. But now we're going to talk about a different way to do it, the shortcut method. Now, in the shortcut method, what we're doing is just taking one multiplication at a time and kind of writing the partial products like we did before. I'm going to start by multiplying uh, 7 times 6. Now, this is important to know that this is 6 ones right here. So 7 ones times 6 ones would be uh, 4 tens, 2 ones, uh, 42. Now what I'm going to do is multiply 7 times 2 tens. It's important to note that this is not 2, this is 2 tens or 20. So 7 times 20 would be 100. 40. So I can write it down there like that. Now here you see again I've got my partial products. So again what I have to do is add them up and that gives me my answer there. Now there's an even shorter shortcut method that we'll talk about here. Let's take a look at the next slide. Now I'm going to start in the same way. I'm going to multiply the 7 ones times the 6 ones. Now we know that 7 ones times 6 ones is 42. So one way to do it is Put the 2 down here under the 1's column, and I'm going to put the 4 up here in the 10's column, because 42 is 4 10's and 2 1's. Now, again, I'll be multiplying the 2 times the 7, but it isn't really 2, remember, it's 20. So it's 7 times 2 10's, which is 140. So that's 14 10's. But don't forget, I also have 4 more 10's. So 14 10's plus four more tens would be 18 tens. So there's my answer. Now this is this way of recording it, it's called new groups above. And this is the one that your parents are going to want you to do. But there's another way to do it too, I'll show you that. This one's going to look the same, except when I multiply uh, six times seven, instead of writing the four on top, I'm going to put it small down here. This is the new groups below. So there you see my 42. Now I'm going to multiply 7 times 2 tens, that'd be 14 tens, plus 4 more tens, that's 18 tens. So my answer there again is 182. I'll do one more for you here. So uh, 86 times 4, that's really 4 times 80 and 4 times 6. So if I do uh, 4 times 6 first, that would be 24, right? So I can, 24 is really 2 tens and 4 ones. Now I'm multiplying 8 times 4, but it's really 80 times 4. So 8 tens times 4 would be 32 tens. Don't forget about the two more tens, that would be 34 tens. So the answer to 86 times 4 would be 344. Alright. So as you can see, this is just like the other methods we did, only this time we're recording the partial products along the way. We're not right. We're just kind of adding them all together at once. If it's still easier for you to write them the other way, you can do that. You can still write six times four is twenty-four, and uh, eight tens times four tens that'd be thirty-two tens. If you want to still write them like that, four tens. That's fine with me. Be my guest. That's you're not still right. gonna get the same answer. So if it's easier, do it this way first. That's cool by me. But this is where we're going to end up with the shortcut method.